Thank you for the opportunity to be here. My name is William Kane. I'm a first year resident at the University of Virginia, and I'll be presenting our group's work entitled Robotic Compared to Laparoscopic Cholecystectomy, a Propensity Matched Analysis. We have no disclosures. Laparoscopic cholecystectomy is one of the most common procedures performed in the United States, with over 400,000 performed in 2010. Since the 1990s, laparoscopic cholecystectomy has been considered the standard of care for gallstone disease. Recently, robotic surgery has gained increased popularity and applicability within gastrointestinal surgery. Robotic cholecystectomy has been demonstrated to be safe and efficacious, however, it requires longer OR times and increased costs. To date, there has been little data to support its use over laparoscopic cholecystectomy. We hypothesized that robotic cholecystectomy would be associated with improved clinical outcomes, but also increased cost as compared with standard laparoscopic cholecystectomy. To examine this, we performed a retrospective review of all patients undergoing robotic or laparoscopic cholecystectomy at a single academic center over a 10-year period using the American College of Surgeons NISQIP data for our institution. Financial data was obtained from a clinical data repository, and the operative approach was at the surgeon's discretion at the time of the procedure. Patients requiring conversion to open were excluded from our study because we felt that these patients represented a different population um, and all fell within the laparoscopic group. To perform our data analysis, robotic and laparoscopic patients were compared and propensity matched in a one to 10 ratio based on relevant comorbidities and demographics. Inflation estimates provided by the Center for Medicare and Medicaid Services were used to adjust costs to 2017 US dollars and data were compared using the Chi-Square and Mann-Whitney U tests. Our primary outcomes were operative time, length of stay, 30 and 90 day readmission rates and hospital cost. Prior to matching, there were no significant differences in age, sex, race, or BMI between both groups. However, there were significantly higher rates of diabetes, hypertension, and GERD in the laparoscopic group. After matching, there were no significant differences in patient demographics or comorbidities. We identified 100, approximately 100 robotic patients and over 1,000 laparoscopic patients for our propensity uh, matched analysis. As predicted, robotic cholecystectomy was associated with significantly longer operating room times and higher hospital costs as compared to laparoscopic cholecystectomy. However, robotic cholecystectomy was also associated with shorter length of stay and lower 90-day readmission rates when compared to laparoscopic cholecystectomy with no readmissions within the robotic group. In discussing these results, it's first important to address the higher hospital cost associated with robotic cholecystectomy. This has been previously demonstrated in the literature, and with any new technology, a monetary investment is required. However, as that technology is more widely applied and used, costs will likely decrease over time. Much of the higher hospital cost in our study was attributed to the longer OR time, which has also been previously demonstrated. However, one retrospective review by ILU and colleagues at a single institution demonstrated no significant difference in OR times, which was attributed to the higher robotic volume at that institution and shorter docking times. Either way, learning curve and resident involvement also likely contributes to the longer OR time, both in robotic and laparoscopic cases at our institution. Our study is uh, one of the first to suggest that there may be improved clinical outcomes associated with robotic cholecystectomy. Strosberg and colleagues demonstrated in a retrospective review previously that there may be lower conversion to open rates associated with robotic cholecystectomy. One other thing to consider is that a lower readmission rate with robotic approaches could partially offset the higher initial costs of the index surgery. There are several limitations with our study. First, its retrospective and single institution design limit the quality of our data. Furthermore, the present study did not evaluate the preoperative diagnosis or indication for surgery, 
as these data were unable to be completely captured in our patient population, leaving room for selection bias. We did not look at specific post-operative complications or attain long-term follow-up for our patients. And finally, we were unable to assess, based on the data we captured, whether readmissions were related or unrelated to the initial surgery. In conclusion, we believe that robotic cholecystectomy is costlier and requires longer OR times, however, may improve clinical outcomes. To examine this further, larger data set analyses or randomized controlled trials are required, and until that time, surgeon comfort level, hospital cost, and patient preference should dictate the operative approach. Thank you. I'm happy to take any questions.